Hey, hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Jay-Z. Yeah, I just wanted to do this video real quick today to show you guys how I personally deal with griefers in Red Dead Online. This is something that I've been doing since we used to play GTA, whenever people would just decide to kill us for no reason whatsoever. Um, player versus player is obviously a part of the game. It's not a part of the game that I enjoy. It stresses me out. So I decided to handle it in a way that is way more fun to me and, of course, delightfully stupid. So all I've been doing lately is a few daily challenges. I've got that sweet, sweet 21-day quarter bar of gold mark. So I'm trying to do as many as I can on a daily basis just because I'm like a dragon and I'm just hoarding it. I'm not spending it on anything. So we're at the Moonshine Bar. We've danced. We've played washboard. We've had a few drinks, shared a few laughs, etc. Now all I've got to do is go make some coffee and go visit Madame Nazar. Um, or Nazar, I don't know, uh, which we also do a series of videos on that, showing you where to find her every day if you don't know. So, go set up my wilderness camp, make my last cup of coffee. Before I can even tear down my camp, boom, that bounty has caught up with me. I fully deserved it. I probably went on a shooting spree, probably dragged some bodies behind a train. Who knows? I just know I deserve what the law is bringing to me right now. And at this point, for some reason, I thought I could just go to the post office and pay it off and all will be forgiven. And they wouldn't let me. So I hop back on my horse and I run for the hills. I guess technically I was running for the swamp because my whole grand plan was to lure the bounty hunters into the swamp where they will be killed by alligators and I won't have to deal with them. I just wanted to run. Yes, I'm a coward. I've even asked my boyfriend to be a human shield for me. I told him to keep them distracted so I can run. He's managed to kill one of them. Um, I think they killed him a couple times as I was off running. As he was respawning, they were able to somehow catch up. Now at this point, I've realized my fate is sealed the law has come for me to make me atone for my sins. The player got me. That's fine. It's all fair. You know, that's part of the game. I can't argue. But the problem is that they've shot my horse. So I go back to run to revive it. And, you know, I feel bad. Even if it's just a cartoon video game horse, even if it's the enemy horse, I feel bad. Like, you know, I guess it's the empathy in me or whatever. So I run back to get my horse. As I approach, I realize he's standing there guarding it so he can just shoot me again. Why? What is the reason? So, all right, here we go. I'm going to fight back. Even though my horse is probably going to die at this point. And oops, I realize that the last thing I did combat-wise before this was to turn to take over a moonshine operation silently. So I've got a bow, which is so useful. Oops, I got my flame arrows in. Um, and I've got a repeating shotgun. Neither are good at distance, and I'm a bolt-action rifle type of person. Hey, and guess what? All my weapons are on my dead horse. I don't even know why I'm trying at this point. I don't have weapons. I can't see shit. He's clearly more skilled at PvP. So I decide to go into my strategy of what I like to call aggressive nonchalance. What you do, you put away all your weapons. You don't have anything in your hand. You go up as close to them as possible without them being really in range so that you can just kind of taunt them a little bit. Just stand there. Now the key to this is to let them know that you do not care. You are not trying because the harder you try, the more they're going to enjoy it when they eventually kill you. See here, I've even thrown myself off a bridge to let them know how much I don't care. It keeps spawning me further away from them because I guess the game thinks that it's trying to help me. But what I want to do is to just keep rushing at them and not fight. So I just have to keep standing there in a river, waving, boldly dancing perhaps, while they kill me over and over and over. The entire goal of this is to just break the pattern of what they expect from you. They expect you to shoot back. They don't expect you to walk up to them on a hill 
and just wave when they shoot at you. Now, to be fair, at this point, I didn't expect him to stop shooting. He just walks up to me casually, and I took my opportunity and just choked him out right there on the hill. Sorry about it. But it all comes to an end right about here. Oh, that was kind of awesome. <laughs> you set me on fire. All right, that about does it for this one. If you like this video, please subscribe. Every Monday for the next couple of weeks, we have out some new Bell & Dubs parody commercial videos. And subscribe to Bell & Dubs wherever you get your podcasts. United We Stupid. Stupid.